Good morning, everyone. This is First Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Corey, and it's time for Face to Face. And with me today, I've got Pastor Marty, Pastor Lori, and Pastor Stephanie. And we are delighted once again to bring to you uh, a uh, short conversation about an upcoming scripture uh, here at First Lutheran. Uh, We hope you enjoy your time together, and uh, let us pray. Good and gracious God, we thank you for your word that never returns void, always does a work within us. And Lord, we give you permission this morning uh, to use your Holy Spirit to knock off the rough edges of our life, tune us to your spirit, uh, tune us to your will, tune tune us to your word, uh, that we might become more like you, which was your intention from the very beginning. And so, Lord Jesus, we give you this time together. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So our scripture lesson for today is Revelation uh, 21, uh, verses 1 through 6. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride beautifully dressed for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, look, God's dwelling place is now among the people and he will dwell with them. They will be his people and God himself will be with them and be their God. And he will wipe away every tear from their eyes. And there will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain for the old order of things has passed away. He was seated on the throne and said, I am making everything new. And then he said, write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. He said to me, it is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water without cost, and from the spring of the water of life. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. (laughs) I, you know... uh, I just love that passage of text, the scripture. I always have. Uh, I remember studying it for the first time in a collegiate setting at the Lutheran Bible Institute in 1982, uh, and uh, just saying. And I don't know that it had ever crossed my path in significant ways before then, uh, but it sure did then, and has meant the world to me ever since. Uh, and I love that text of I, I'm making everything new. Uh, and to what a beautiful thought. So I'd like us to just start with, uh, I, I think there's lots of layers to this scripture. When you hear it as uh, uh, seasoned pastors, all of us, uh, what, where do you go? I kind of told you, I went to the behold, I make all things new portion. Where do you go in your mind? Behold, these words are trustworthy and true. I think the book of Revelation is a hard book to read. Um, It's a hard book for 21st century readers to understand. And sometimes that's the Christian story. Sometimes the Christian story is hard to believe longer than seven days in a row. That's why you have to go to church on Sunday to be reminded that these words are trustworthy and true um, because it, it can be difficult. I think Um, all of us have our own questions and our own doubts and our own struggles, but to be reminded at the end of the book, you can trust me. You can count on me. Even, even if you have wonderments, even if you doubt, you can trust me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And of course, this is a text that's read at funerals quite often. And uh, so the place where I go is that death might have won the battle, but it has not won the day. In the end, God has the final word and he makes everything new, that part too. But um, that the words of hope, when you're standing grieving over a, a graveside, the, those words of hope just throw me. <laughs> I think of uh, the song by Mercy Me, I Can Only Imagine. Mm-hmm what it will be like when I walk by your side. Um, We often uh, read these verses as well um, on All Saints Sunday. Um, And, 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 you know, and just to imagine what it will be like. Um, So uh, no more crying, no more tears, no more death, simply no more. 
Um, so uh, I love these verses. Uh, and when you pair it with a song, I can only imagine for me, um, really, really powerful stuff. <laughs> I'm reminded of two things when I think of this. One is my good friend, Paul Cross, continually tells me, uh, that I might be the first person to get to heaven and be disappointed because I've been so spoiled in this life. <laughs> uh, and so I, when, I, when I read this, I always laugh and think, oh, yeah, maybe. Um, but the second thing is for me is uh, the, I, I don't remember when I said it first, but I've said it many times. The great truths of the Bible are true because they're true eternally. They were true in the past, they're true in the present, and they will be true in the future. And so when I think of this, uh, I think of Jesus, all the times Christ has uh, shown up in my life, and I've said, that's too broken to repair. That can't be repaired. Uh, and uh, it's, it's, it's too lost. It can't be found. It's too injured. It can't be healed. Uh, and uh, he stood in the midst of all of that crud and said, behold, I make things new. Uh, and, uh, uh, and all of a sudden it was repaired and it was healed, uh, and it was found. Uh, and, uh, I, the beauty of this for me is past, present, and future alpha and omega first and last. Uh, and, uh, boy, that's powerful stuff. This is, a th th this isn't just a vision for me of the future. It's also a vision of the present. Uh, and, uh, uh, and uh, in another note, I'm talking too much. I'll turn it over to you guys. Uh, <laughs> I, I thought uh, the the uh, wonderful uh, uh, movie, The Passion of the Christ, uh, I thought this was the most powerful scene where Jesus falls is on, on the uh, Via Dolorosa uh, and Mary comes running up to him and he turns and he says, uh, behold, I make all things new. But in the midst of our crisis, in the midst of our death, in the midst of our pain, in the midst of our suffering, Jesus turns to us and says, behold, I make all things new. Mm -hmm. I also love the beautiful image of the bride being adorned, beautifully dressed for her husband. So if you think about a marriage, you think of two becoming one. And you think of the promises that are made to each other and that are, are lifelong and that are binding. And that's what's happening with humanity and God. Two are uh, coming into each other's presence and they're making, you know, they're being bound together for life for the rest of time. And I, that's a beautiful image to me. I think... Um... What's also remarkable of this is a world that we know nothing about. Uh, we don't know this world. We've never experienced this world. And yet the power of this world reaches back and critiques our daily life. It critiques our world and then promises us something that we have never experienced before. Um, I've never lived in a world where death was not part of life. I've never lived in a world where there was no crying or pain or hardship or struggle. I don't know what the other world looks like. And yet I know that it exists. Um, and and that's, that's powerful in of itself. I know of a world that exists, that is coming my way, but I know nothing about that world. I've never experienced that world, but that world reaches back into my life and stirs the present with hope um, so that I can lean in, uh, you know, into uh, tomorrow. Um, that, that, that's pretty, I mean, as we've already said, that's pretty powerful stuff that a world is coming in our direction that we've never seen before. We haven't even lived in a world where water was free. That's the last thing. I'll give you water without cost. <laughs> <laughs> we, haven't even, we haven't even been there. No. <laughs> but sometimes I think we, we get so caught up in um, if it, if we can't see it, I'm home today and that's my dog, Husker. 
I'm growling. Well, what has he got to say about Revelation 21? <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Scott. Wow, we're pulling all the stops out today. Yeah. Well, sometimes if we if we can't see it, right, then we think it must not be true or we can't. But I think some things aren't ever going to be true this side of heaven. But that doesn't mean that they're not true and that we won't experience it. And that as Christians like Lori and Marty, you just said, we are nothing if we don't have, hold that hope. We're nothing if we don't hold that hope that it is true, but it may not be true this side of heaven, only when all things are made new. I want to go in another direction now. That was great. But do all dogs go to heaven? I want to know. <laughs> of course. <laughs> all pets go to heaven. Well, that is Husker, and Husker is doing much better than the Nebraska corn husker <laughs> right now so just wanted to add that in but there's still hope there's still hope yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> well any other deep and profound thoughts i think we've hit the highlights uh we've decided dogs go to heaven <laughs> decided that heaven is uh, a reality worth waiting for uh, we've decided that Jesus shows up in our lives and says, behold, I make all things new, uh, past, present, and future. Uh, and uh, that's all good stuff. That's probably a good starting point. And thank I you. I read a quote on Facebook the other day with Dr. Keller. It says, um, our present sorrow is like a teardrop uh, in an ocean full of joy. And then, right. so someday we will experience that ocean full of joy. And I, I can't I even imagine, like you said, Marty, what that will be like. That's a good one. I had a, uh, I had a uh, professor that used to say a blink in a lifetime. Mm. That this life is a blink in a lifetime. And uh, mm. the ratios of eternal, eternity in heaven versus this life. It's a blink in a lifetime. Mm. That uh, always caught my attention. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm going to uh, uh, read uh, just three words as a conclusion to our face-to-face -face, uh, from Revelation 21.6. It is done. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Lori, would you close us in a prayer? <laughs> I will. Um, Holy Lord, thank you for this vision of hope for this vision of the reality that we can't wrap our minds around yet. As Paul says, we can't even imagine what it will be like when we uh, are with you. <laughs> it won't be all harps and clouds and sitting around for eternity. No, no, no. We will be with you and our joy will be complete in you. And so we thank you for those promises. And Lord, we also say a prayer for Corey as, as he is done, uh, that you would Bless him and his family as they move to the next chapter. We thank you for his faithful ministry to First Lutheran Church and the people of this community. And uh, so, Lord, we lift all that to you. We thank you. We glorify you. And we um, ask for your peace as we prepare our hearts for the coming of our Lord. In Jesus' name we pray and all God's people said. Amen. Amen. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Bye, Esther. <laughs> I can only imagine what it will be like when I walk by your side. I can only imagine what my eyes will see when your face belong to me I can only imagine <clears throat> surrounded by your glory what will my heart feel will I dance for you Jesus or in sweet Ah, of you be still, will I stand in your presence, 
or to my knees will I fall? Will I sing hallelujah? Will I be able to speak at all? I can only imagine. I can only imagine. I can only imagine when that day comes and I find myself standing in the sun. I can only imagine when all I will do is forever, forever worship you. I can only imagine. I can only imagine. Surrounded by your glory, what will my heart feel? Will I dance for you, Jesus, or in awe of you be still? Will I stand in your presence, or to my knees will I fall? Will I sing hallelujah? Will I be able to speak at all? I can only imagine. I can only imagine. Surrounded by your glory, what will my heart feel? Will I dance for you, Jesus? Or in awe of you be still? Will I stand in your presence? Or to my knees will I fall? Will I sing hallelujah? Will I be able to speak it all? I can only imagine. Yeah, I can only imagine. I can only imagine. Yeah, I can only imagine. I can only imagine. I can only imagine I can only imagine when all I will do is forever forever worship you I can only imagine